Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. And just before we continue with Off the Press, let's talk about what happened today in history. We're going to be going to uh, uh, Iraq, where on this day in 2005, Saddam Hussein did go on trial in Baghdad for crimes against humanity. The first trial began before the Iraqi Special Tribunal on the 19th of October in 2005. And you remember this was also after the Iraqi invasion by the United States and the Allied forces. At this trial, Saddam and seven other defendants were tried for crimes against humanity with regards to events that took place after the failed assassination attempt in Dujail. He was captured by U.S. forces December 13th in 2003. And of course, remain in custody in the United States or by the United States forces at, uh, in Baghdad, along with seven other of his um, officials and uh, associates. Um, he eventually, of course, was found guilty and was hanged in December, uh, I believe, of uh, 2005 still. But of course, there were a lot of critics for this trial. A lot of people said that it wasn't free and fair and um, that he did not, of course, uh, the trial didn't meet international standards and the right to a fair hearing. Um, if, uh, for everyone who followed uh, you know, that period in uh, 2005, it was pretty interesting seeing how things played out. There's also uh, some people who have showed, oh yeah, there's some clips on YouTube. I think if you, if you search uh, long enough, you might see some clips on YouTube um, that of course uh, also showed uh, play, um, images of the trial and of course um, his uh, later hanging uh, that uh, same year. Um, former president of uh, the United States, George Bush, uh, has also been, you know, thrown, uh, there's some anger that's been thrown his way, you know, because of how things played out with regards to Saddam Hussein and the fall of Iraq after his death and after his capture. Um, and of course, uh, how uh, um, Iraq and Afghanistan's uh, war eventually led to the rise of uh, other terror groups in those regions, ISIS to be precise, um, and the likes. Um, and so it's, it's, um, it's a conversation that has many, many angles and has, um, oh, well, including Libya too. It has many angles and many directions. Um, um, but of course, uh, for people who are interested in learning about these wars and what led to them, if you remember also, this is coming you know, just off the 2001 September 11 attack on the World Trade Centers. Um, I saw a couple of reactions to Colin Powell's death yesterday uh, that weren't necessarily um, in, in good faith. A lot of people said that he was one of those people who, along with Dick Cheney and George Bush, led to the loss of you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, so it's an interesting time talking about Saddam Hussein now, right when uh, Colin Powell also has passed on at the age of 84. Stay with us. Um, right after this very short break, we're going to be talking of Nigeria's exchange rate with uh, two economists to share their thoughts on how far we've gone uh, with regards trying to balance out the exchange rates in Nigeria and, of course, uh, the moves by the current uh, Nigerian government. We'll be back. <music> 